Hello, hello guys. Good evening. Hi everyone. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi there. How are you guys? Hi, Adrian. Susana, good evening. Uh, Claudia, how are you? Irving Cody, good evening, good evening. guys. How are you Fine, doing? You. Yeah. How is your day going? Everything good? Is everything all right? Yes. Yes. It was a yes. good day. It was a great day. Nice. That is really good to hear. Okay. So I don't know, but some reason I, for some reason I feel Tuesdays like if they were Monday for me. <laughs> so I prefer Mondays rather than Tuesdays. <laughs> but I'm yeah. so happy to hear that you're having a nice day. Give me one sec. Let me just adjust the lining here. Mm, okay. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining. I really hope your day was great, that you're having a good one. And thanks a lot for joining today's <laughs> session and for being with us. Um, I saw that uh, still some of you were having difficulties in the platform with one exercise related to, uh, let me see, to relative pronouns, right? Were you able to, to figure figure it out or are you still having difficulties, guys? Did it work at the end? Were you able to get the answer or are you still having problems in the platform? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, Susana, good evening. How you doing? I'm just trying to complete the, the platform and I think I I uh, I can complete um so you figured it out but not yet oh. not yet be because um I still have problems with the part B and the midterm. Oh, okay, okay. So let me just take notes. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I still have just a few of you guys, and I'd like everybody to be back here. So give me one sec. Let me just take notes. So you said a, a midterm, so 3B, right? A part B. Okay, so midterm part B. All right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're going to check that out in a couple of seconds. And if you have the exercise, I think we can definitely go for it. Um, any other exercise, guys? You're having difficulties or you are stuck into? I'm complete, uh, teacher. I had a problem, but uh, I was grammatical problem uh, that were solving. Ah, very nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, because yeah. I, I saw that you were like posting, you were having some issues there, but I'm glad you solved it. Guys, I don't know if you are familiar with this expression that is figure, figure it out or figure out that is like find a way or find a solution, right? So we can also use this one. Okay, I'm glad you, you definitely uh, figure it out. All right. Okay, guys. So if you come like across any other exercise, um, that we can take a look at. We're going to take a couple of minutes at the end, you know, to go one by one and we can definitely unlock it. <laughs> okay, or you can get it done. So um, for today, guys, we are going to continue working with a little bit of speaking into this topic of present perfect continuous, but to get started, I have some questions for you. So let, let me interview you guys. I'm super, um, I don't know, I'm super curious because I don't know too much about your personal life. So I, I would definitely like to listen to, uh, to you a little bit more. Okay. So tell me guys, uh, for example, let me just go for some questions here. Give me one sec. 
Okay. <laughs> Look at this question. Uh, guys, how long have you been alive? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Like, so, what's you your age? A lot of time. <laughs> Since yeah. I was born. <laughs> Since I was born. Okay. Now, like, guys, another nice way to ask for your age. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to sound that intrusive, like, hey, how old are you? <laughs> okay, but how long have you been alive? <laughs> okay, hi, Dago, good evening. I think I saw Rafael some seconds ago. Good evening, guys. Hi, Monica, good evening. Uh, Fernando, Silvia, great to see you guys. Uh, Jolanda, good evening. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's your age? How long have you been uh, alive? <laughs> in my case, I've been alive... Uh, Five, fifty-eight years. Oh, okay. So yeah, things. Yeah, I, I like this question better than how old are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand what is the problem. The age. <laughs> no, it's just the question. Yeah, just the the age is only a a, a number. A number. <laughs> I totally agree yes. with you. However, <laughs> some people feel I don't know. Um. I don't know if threaten is the, the way or the word to call it, but some people feel kind of offended whenever you come and ask them their age directly, right? Are you okay with saying your age? So boys and girls, are you fine like telling yes. other people your age? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Cool. Yes. Sounds nice. Okay. So I don't have, have a ever, problem with this. Okay. Have you ever felt offended when a person comes and asks you like like straight? Uh, what? How old are you? No. no. You're oh. good. Sylvia, no. uh, yes. are you? Do you feel okay with that question? Yes, I'm okay with my age. Yes, teacher, but Young, when I teacher. was younger, oh, sorry, people used to say that that look at me uh, older and oh. today I don't know if but the people say that I look um, older. Younger. Younger. Oh. <laughs> okay. what, what's your age? How old are you? I'm 34. How old are you? I'm sorry. 34. Oh, I don't think you, yeah, I think you look young for that, for your age. Yeah. How old do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know, 30... You're 18. 18, no, oh, thank you. I cannot give you extra points, but thanks a lot for that. <laughs> you are in your Maybe 20s. 28. I, I feel like I'm in my 20s, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> no, I, I am in my early 20s. 30s I would say so yeah but but that, that is a very good point so sometimes people find age an issue and I don't think it should be all right look at this question guys um how long have you had your cell phone teacher so, I have a question with the the last the first question how long have you been alive <laughs> uh yeah but it is the same that to say how old are you yeah what's the point with this I mean, yes, <laughs> it's just another another way to ask the same without being so intrusive. But yes, <laughs> it is exactly the same. Uh huh. Yeah, yes, another way to ask for the same. Guys, what about the second question? How long have you had it? Yesterday, we practiced a little bit the part of since and for. I don't know if you remember that part. So how long have you had your cell phone? I have. I have, I have had mm -hmm. or have been. I have had is fine. I have had uh, since two years. Oh, for two years. Two years. Okay. So two for years two years. Ago. No. Okay. For two years is okay. Oh. So you have had it for two years. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? How long have you had your cell phone? I have had a cell phone since 1997. 1997. Okay, what about your current cell phone? Current? Yes. 
uh, your, let me write it down. So your current, current. So like the cell phone that you have right now. So how long have you had uh, the current, your current I cell have, phone? Yes, uh, I have had uh, my cell phone for two years. Okay, so for two years, all right. Yes. So uh, this word guys, whenever we have like current, so that means like the present one, the one that you have right now, right? So that would be current. So your current cell phone, okay. So for two years, uh, Irving, let me ask you the next question here. And uh, wait a second, I don't know, my computer got, got stuck, hold on. All right, so Irving, how long have you been studying English? Uh, I have been studying English for five years, I think. Oh, okay, okay, sounds good. Sounds really cool. And uh, so, Sophie, what about you? How long have you been studying English? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I am studying English at university. Oh, okay. So, how long? How long have you been studying English? Like for one uh, year, two years, ten, six months? Ten. Years. ten. Ten. Wow, that's a long time. Okay, cool. Yes. Sounds really nice. I, I think I'm not really good in English. I, think <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's just probably when you stop practicing, so we tend to forget uh, everything. Yeah. So that is very normal. Don't Thank worry you. about it. Okay, nice. Very nice. Thank All right. You. What about this one, guys? Do you have any plan, like how long you want to work? So how long do you plan on working? Are you planning to retire soon? Like in 10 years? Or are you planning to continue working? I plan to continue working. Okay. I like so, to work. You like to work, okay. Yes. Nice, sounds good. <laughs> but in the same area or in a different area or with that same job or different job? It is same job. Okay, okay, cool. Yes. Are you planning to become a pilot or are you going to continue in the marketing area? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Do, by the way, do you fly? Do you normally fly? Yes, I normally fly, but only by hobby. Oh. Oh, okay. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, really cool. Sounds nice. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? How long are you planning on uh, continue working? Hi, Maurice. Good evening. Yes, Hello. Adrian, tell us. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm well, doing I'm, great. I'm, yes. I'm planning to continue working uh, for a long time. Okay. Uh-huh. So even after you retire. Yes, yes. It's, it's uh I don't uh -huh, I don't in my mind I don't have that I am retired. Oh, okay. Okay. When the man says when the man says uh, I am retired, it's is the last. Okay. Uh I uh, I think it's uh, the man all the time has to work 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 okay so it is the last idea that crosses your mind so retirement yeah. okay yeah. i see yeah and especially when we get used to working right so i think it's really hard to think about yeah. retirement or enjoying or something okay what yeah, about... <laughs> i have some weird questions guys <laughs> so what do you think about this one <laughs> how long do you want to live have you ever thought about your i don't know uh becoming old like in your 70s 80s 90s how long do you want to live has that question crosses your mind <laughs> i want to live until 85 85 okay yes. or whatever god gives you or allows you so or what are your thoughts on this? So 75, okay. What about the rest of you guys? I want to live until 40. Okay, so what? <laughs> Wait, what? 
I feel well, a little bit tired about the life. I don't recommend. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, wait, wait. Yeah. first, how you are you? Hey, the Cody, no. <laughs> Yeah, All is okay in your home. <laughs> Let's start with your age. How old are you? I'm 28. Oh, you no. are so young. Yeah. Everything is good at home. <laughs> Cody, are you okay? All is okay. Do you have uh, mother? Are you sure? <laughs> are you a mother? No, I'm single. I'm just tired, you know. No, don't be tired. You have a lot of things to enjoy, you know, like traveling. How do you how do you like going traveling on your own? No, I I never I never mm -hmm. I never been. I have I never I have never I have never been travel. Okay, you have never traveled, okay, on your own. So you see, there are a lot of good things you can do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, no, but 40 is too early. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got a Yeah. Like, I want to leave so far. That's I'm, too early. I'm 40 years old. Oh, I'm how old was 40? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad. That's, that, that's I'm, what I thought. I die. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought, like, oh my God, I'm so close to the 40s, but I have, I feel I have a lot of life ahead of me. <laughs> no, Cody, but, you know, if you feel like, you know, like traveling, you don't have nobody to travel with, so call me, I'm here for you, you know, and I love okay, going out. <laughs> so, yeah, I think sometimes, you know, some crazy questions uh, come to us this way, but but yeah, so definitely <laughs> count on us. So we are here for you. Um, what about the next question, guys? How um, how long have you lived in your current? Remember that current is like in present. So how long have you lived in your current house or your current apartment? For how long? I live in this house. Uh... Uh, for uh, 88 years. No, 58 years. Wait, what? 58? Yes, this is the this is the house of my uh, grandpa, uh, my gr oh, grandmother. My God, wow. So that's like a family legacy or something like that. Oh, super cool. Yes. Okay, okay. What about the rest of you guys? How long have you lived in the same house? I have lived in my house since 2016. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds very nice. What about the rest of you guys? I have one year in this apartment. Four years? One year. Oh, one. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I have been in this house for over maybe 20 years. 20, yeah, almost 20 years or something like that. Um, what about the rest of you people? I have well, lived in my house for eight years. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Let's I have move. been yes. live in my house for six years. For six years, all right, very mm. cool. Mm, okay, <laughs> and I have just one more crazy question. It says, how long have you had an email address? Um, guys, do you remember your first email address? Do you remember when you created your first email address that we have a lot of crazy email addresses with unicorns, princesses, rock stars, and things like those? Do you remember the first? What was it like? My first email is what created uh, for my friends. Oh, okay. And you like uh, the anime. Okay. What was the name? So, so the, the, the name was Cory. Um, I don't know how to say Gion. Uh, Dash. Okay. Cory Dash. Chan. 
because this is the, I don't know how, how to say, que es como para mostrar respeto, por cuidado, algo así, pero. But it was taken from an anime. Yes. So oh. this, this was the, the name of the male for okay. Chan. Okay, I think I the, have the never... more crazy email that I, I have. Uh, <laughs> that I you have, have created. Had. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm not that familiar with anime, but sounds nice. And your friends created that for you, you said. Okay, yeah. guys, what about the rest of you? So do you remember your first email address? Have you, do you still have it, you know? I Maybe? still have it. Well, what is it? Uh, it's the same one that I provided to for this uh, I program. I think I have not seen it. <laughs> yeah, I still have it. It has uh, more than 10,000 emails, I think. Okay, but how does it go? What is your email address? Uh, it's, it's my name. It's Norbert Irving at gmail.com. What's your first name? My name is Irving and the second is Norberto. So it's like, uh, like, yeah. The other way around. Okay, Norbert. I didn't know Norbert was your your, your second name. It reminds yeah. me a lot of the movie, like Norbert. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, yeah. It's like a, a I crazy saw that movie. Yeah, right. That's yeah. a very funny movie. Okay. I, I remember okay. now that uh, my first email it's uh, uh it's using now. Well, what is your email even, address? Uh, Dahet rm rm okay. I remember it when Irving say that his email was Norbert. Okay. Uh, by, oh, because I select this, this nickname? No. Okay, yeah, it's a nickname. Uh, by Norbert and Daggett. Norbert and Daggett, okay. I don't rem if he, you remember it, uh, eran wow. los, cas los castores cacarrayas. <laughs> no, what was no. that? Huh? What era was una that? Era una caricatura on dog. Uh, it, uh -huh, it was a cartoon. <laughs> I saw a lot of guys smiling, so I guess they remember. I think channel, I think. Very good, this cartoon. Oh, really? Okay, so your email address is related to cartoons. Cool. You know, my my beginnings with the with emails was a little bit crazy because I love this writer, um, Kafka, Frank Kafka. So I still have my email address. So it is like Kafka Metamor one <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> so it is a crazy one. I still use it, you know. So I have had it for I don't know, like probably like 25 years or something, and I still use it. So guys, let's talk a little bit about some of these experiences. Um, and, oh, wait, 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 wait. And uh, let's get a little bit creative here. So take a look at this one. It says here, complete the sentences below with your own ideas. We are going to try to complete this the most creative way we can. So you have already the beginning but you have to find like a sort of explanation for what is going on here. Like for example, number one says, I have, I have white powder on me because I have been. What do you think you have been doing in order to have white powder on all your body, for example? Have you been baking? Have you been, I don't know, <laughs> what you can come up with? The second says, there are bruises on my body. So bruises is when you hurt, for example, my skin is light, so when I hurt part of my skin, I have a spots like green, purple, yellow spots. They are called bruises. Or when somebody hits you, mm -hmm. so you get bruises on your skin. Mm -hmm. So there are bruises on my body because I have been. So what do you think you have been doing in order to have bruises? Uh, have in my happened. case, uh -huh, for example, I have been playing soccer for the last uh, three months. So when somebody hits me with the ball, my legs get bruised. So 
So there are bruises on my legs because I have been playing soccer, right? What about in your case? So get creative. What has happened to you? Uh, number three says, my face is red, like uh, you are blushed, right? My, uh, my face is red because I have been. Another way to say red is blushed. Let me write it in the chat. So when you're blushed, right? It's like you get embarrassed sometimes. And, and you have this uh, part of your of your face already, so that is blushed. Sure. So, yes. sure. Or can be when you receive the so the the light of sun in your face. Yes. So also you get you get sunburn. So that can be another possibility as well. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna give you like five minutes so you can think of any possibility. What have you been doing? Yeah, so they can go meet. To the beach. Uh -huh. can you go to the beach, for example. Yeah, so, but what have you been doing? Because probably you have gone to the beach, but not necessarily you get red. So there, this activity has to, um, you know, have happened for a long period of time. You have been exposed to that for a long period of time. So I'm gonna give you five minutes, guys. Think about it, right? And then you come and you uh, share your ideas. Number four says, I'm boiling, right? Like you are boiling, like your temperature, right? So very hot. Uh, I'm freezing, like the opposite. My temperature is really low. Um, my eyes hurt, right? So I have a terrible pain in my eyes. So my eyes hurt and I'm smelly. So a um, smell is when your body has some smell, but a bad smell, right? So smell can be fish can be smelly, um, cheese can be smelly, garlic can be smelly. What else can be smelly? Any other food product that can be onions? Smelly? Onions can be smelly. Mm -hmm. So what about you? I am smelly because I have been. So what do you think you have been doing? Um, I'll give you three more minutes, guys. Think about some, some possibilities and then we're gonna share them. Teacher, but the verb is gonna be with ing. ing, that's correct. So ing. Teacher, in number two, uh, bruises uh, is like heridas. No, uh, bruises, no, bruises are spots. When um, I have bruises, wait, no, but I, no, they, I don't have bruises anymore. <laughs> so bruises are like spots on your skin and they change color. So they um, are yellow, yeah. green, oh, purple, purple. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. exactly. So mm -hmm. como Golpe. hematomas, right? Golpe. Manchas. Golpe. Um, Yes, yes. Like moretes. Yeah. Moretes? Moretes, yeah. yes. Yes, ah. hematomas and moretes, exactly. So it's more like a color, right? In a Salvadorian way. In Salvadorian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so they Salvadorian are. Like yeah. Salvadorian slang. <laughs> yes. So those are the ones. So they are bruises. Uh -huh. Now, if you are talking about scars, so you got these other words, right? Like scars, yes, it's on las cicatrices. Or if we are talking about heridas, we can call it wounds. There you go. So, but those are bruises. So I'll give you two more minutes.
One more minute, guys. you have if you have just completed one tier three that is okay we can definitely improvise for the others so the idea is to try to give a little explanation why this is going on right so if i tell you for example they have white powder on me because they have been trying to make bread and because i couldn't do it so all the flour you know got into me or i started playing with the flour and that got into me so let's try to uh, give a little bit of explanation of why this is going on. We are going to practice as much as possible. So I'm going to be sending you to some groups right now. And, you know, so we can give our ideas and we can express them out freely. So guys, we have like five, seven minutes to share them and then I'll bring you back. So let's go. Go guys so and get creative. We have to we have to to share pretty much to share with the with the uh, with the uh, friends. Yes. So you have to share why. What is the explanation that you have for this, right? Uh huh. Okay. So just okay. share your ideas. There you go, okay. guys. Bye. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> okay. See you in okay. some minutes. <laughs> There you go. Sí. Sí. 
Fight it with him, with what? My nephew. Fight it. Fight it with your nephew. Yes. Nephew. Okay. <laughs> who win the who win the fight? <laughs> <laughs> My nephew is uh, eight years old. Oh. <laughs> But I believe that you may in a brush. You're, you're, you, you win the, the, the fight. No, so he, he said that he is the champion. He is the Superman. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you're the Wonder Woman, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. There are bruises on my body because I have been fighting as a boxer. I want to be a professional boxer. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding? <laughs> or is real? Nah, <laughs> it's a kidding. <laughs> it's my second kid. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are bruises on my body. Light. Uh, there are bruises on my body because I have been practicing kickboxing also. I really like to exercise just uh, to keep the weight off. And I, la I love, uh, I love to go. I love when I went to the gym and okay. for that. <laughs> oh, do you want to fight with me? <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Done. <laughs> there, okay. uh, a, a, a virtual fight. Virtual fight. Yes. <laughs> um, there are bruises in my legs because I have been to learn. Uh, no, I have leave, been learning to ride my bicycle. There are bruises on my body because I have been moving things in my house. There are bruises on my body, especially on my legs, because I have been playing with my son. And so, so he, he is um, um, a boy, a little boy. <laughs> and he used to play with me like... A, Mortal Kombat, I don't know how to say that, but it's very <laughs> aggressive. Uh -huh. Aggressive, yes. The number Four. three? The number, three. number three. Okay. Uh, my face is red because I have been running a lot in the beach at the day. I want to lose weight. Good for you. My Thank face you. is red I so. because I have been doing workouts too. My face is red because I have been playing basketball for two hours. I have been drinking the door. <coughs> Uh, because I have been uh, walking for a long time under the sun. My face is red because I have been tanning, tanning over beach, over beach. Um. My face is red because I have been playing basketball with uh, Azucena. <laughs> yeah. Good. My face is red because I have been eating red hot chili peppers. really. <laughs> 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 That was cool, especially if it is a chili pepper or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Living California. <laughs> My face is red because I have been um, I have been running with the teacher for two hours. 
<laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm proud of you. But, Thank but, you. But, but I, I run five minutes and then I crawl, my friend. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, go down. Uh, uh, I start crawling. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine that. <laughs> you <do> far? I'm <clears throat> boiling. I'm boiling. Boiling? I like it. Wow. But well, it's for the example, so it's an hypothetic sentence. What? It's just for the example that I say that. Okay. Just okay. this hypothetic sentence. <laughs> okay. And the number four. Yes, the number four. Yes, number four. I am bowling because I have been running in the afternoon. Mm. I, am okay, boiling, I am boiling because I am being, I am being fever. Okay, in my COVID, case. With COVID-19. <laughs> in my case, I am boiling because I have been walking for two hours uh, under the sun. Okay, I... I'm bowling or I have bowling. What is the sentence? I'm bowling. Yes. yes I'm boiling. Yes, I am. I am. I am boiling. Uh, because I have been drinking tequila. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm bowling because I have been dancing in a party. Ah, so very cool. Oh. I just got a question with the tequila. So how many shots? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I can think be... uh, with four shots or five shots. <laughs> it's a, a few shots. But... Hola. Sounds good. <laughs> You're talking with me. Okay, next one. Ah, the next one. I am oh. freezing because I have been swimming in a pool. Oh. I oh. In my case, I, I am freezing up because I have been waiting my husband out of his office all night. Oh. Okay. I am freezing because I have been taking a shower on, a, on the yard at 4 a.m. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, I have been because I cut in ice. Because what? Cutting ice, picar hielo. Ah, oh, okay. I'm sorry. In my case, I freeze in because I have a waiting for the box at the five a.m. I am. Um... I am freezing because I have been eating minuta. <laughs> or charamoscas, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Anybody else? I am freezing because I have been. How do you say a paliar nieve, teacher? I will go with removing, so removing the ice. Ah, removing mm -hmm. the ice? Okay. The ice or snow? Snow, it is snow, ice. Okay, both. Snow but yeah, yeah, probably 
between ice and snow. <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> exactly which one. <laughs> yeah, but that would be snow or ice. I have seen ice as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, I, I am okay. freezing. Oh, sorry. No. In my, in, in my case, I am freezing because I had been um, drinking um, Coca Cola. Oh, nice. <laughs> I really like Coca Cola. Yes. And your brain gets freezing too. When you drink Coca Cola, really, really freezing. Hey guys, uh, thanks a lot for joining. And uh, I think I'm still missing a couple of you guys. Um, so it was a very nice practice, like uh, pretty controlled and you came up with really creative ideas here. Uh, I think we just couldn't listen to the answers uh, to the last two statements. So I would definitely like to listen to the last one, number seven. Guys, what ideas do you have on the last here? So I am smelly because I have been. So what do you think you have been doing? Teacher, but the smelly is like a pistoso. Yeah, <laughs> that you smell bad. Yeah. Huh? So I have smelly. been cutting fish. <laughs> you have been like <laughs> cutting fish? How do you say sorrito? Uh, like skunk. So what, skunk. What, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> I smell it because I I I, I have in my, like touching in my, like in my <laughs> holding holding okay you have been holding a smelly oh, animal Sophie I saw your hand up but I don't skunk. know that was a mistake uh -huh, a skunk yeah doing okay. exercise yeah. oh right. I'm it's smelly because I've been, been doing exercise uh huh that's uh, right that's right any other possibility guys <laughs> have yes, you been brushing oh, the you have been brushing now? A teeth? Oh, you haven't. You haven't brushed uh -huh. your te teeth? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That could be. Because I have forgotten, right? To apply some deodorant. So <laughs> that can happen <laughs> as well. <laughs> Any other possibility? Lemon. <laughs> you have, you, no, because lemons have been expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, or baking soda or something. <laughs> okay, I'm teacher. smelly because I I haven't been uh, taking a shower. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, two weeks. for two weeks. Uh, no, no, even you know, exactly. just with one day. Well, this is exactly. You know, you have a <laughs> huh? Any I, other I'm... possibility? I'm smelling because I haven't been take, taking a shower since uh, last last uh, last week. Since last week, okay, wow, okay. That's we, we we haven't, wow. uh, we haven't. Are you planning to reduce your water bill? <laughs> ex ex oh no! Shampoo, <laughs> no. Uh, shampoo <laughs> water bill. We don't the, have water. And the other end, consumption, perfume consumption, everything. <laughs> Okay. Any other guys? What else do you have? Those are really creative ideas. Anything else? Probably, teacher, that people are smelly because they have been running. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have been doing exercise. Probably they have been running. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We get a smelly. Any other possibility? Or when I've you been cook. washing uh, clothes. Ah, mm. okay. Okay, because you haven't been washing your clothes. All right. This happens in winter, I guess, that sometimes clothes get a really bad smell. Yeah, Cori? What? I want oh, to say the... that, teacher, the, because sometimes I think that the, me, uh, I am smelling, it, it happened to me. Oh, because okay. Because the clothes. Real, real the, <laughs> Yeah, the, because the clothes dried in the shade. It yes. is very awful, the smell. That's right. You know, I have seen that or I have noticed that when we apply like some clothes um, softeners, like for example, Suavitel. So mm -hmm. usually when I wash my clothes, I don't put any softener anymore because it smells bad. So I don't know what's wrong or the way I apply it maybe, but, but you made a point there. Yeah, so when well, there is not sunlight, right? Mm -hmm. One day oh. a girl in the gym, uh, I think she went with the clothes dried in the shade and with the, uh, how do you say sudor? Uh, the sweat. With the sweat, the smell was awful. Oh, okay. Or also shoes when like, especially when you go to the gym and you forget to wash your shoes or something. So. <laughs> People tend to get a smelly as well, but, but that's right. I'm smelling because I have been putting my shoes without uh, socks. Oh, that's right. For example, it's not the, uh, in the real life. <laughs> so it is, but it is not, Enrique. <laughs> no, but that happens, right? So I guess that can happen to everyone. <laughs> I smell it because I forgot the deodorant. Uh -huh, so you, you forget. And Carlos mentioned the lemon. <laughs> so you forget the other end as well. Okay. Lemon is the option. Lemon can be an option, you know, in emergencies. So, <laughs> okay. We can smell it uh, when we were on the bath. And all the people who are in in the bus and mix the the perfumes and also the people uh, who who don't take a shower maybe or or the people who uh, sweat. Uh -huh. That was worse. Yeah, yeah. And that's long awful. But the owner asked me. <laughs> especially when it's like raining and all the oh. windows are up you know <laughs> mm, i totally wow. get that I totally and get the that. windows are closed <laughs> yeah there, there is actually a word uh, when we um when we sweat a lot or when you go to the beach for example and you don't get into the water but you just go have something to eat um, there is this sensation, this feeling in your skin, right? That you're sweaty. So you can use the word sticky. Okay, I feel kind of sticky, right? Um, or sweaty. So we can use those words to talk about it. So yeah, so you feel sweaty, like with a lot of sweat, but also sticky. So that happens to me a lot, like especially when I do exercise, when I, ru when I run too much. Not as smelly, but <laughs> well, I just feel sticky, like, oh, there is too much sweat on me. So we can use those expressions. <laughs> Guys, this has been like a lot of fun to listen to your experiences. As Sylvia said, real life experiences. <laughs> Thanks a lot for sharing that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to steal some minutes of your time because at the beginning of the class, uh, you mentioned one exercise that I want to check with you that is related to the platform. And I want to make sure that everybody is like on the same page or if you're having difficulties so we can sort it out. Um, let me see. You mentioned exercise in the midterm letter B. 
So I believe this is the one. You tell me if I'm wrong or where are you having issues? So guys, from this exercise, where are you having difficulties or what is the issue you're having? You're right, since Or this is not the one. <laughs> Correct me, please, if yes, I'm wrong. Yes, yes, teacher. I still have um, problems with this exercise. Where? Uh, or in which one? For example, uh, if I... Wait a minute, please. I, I have my, my answers okay. in the... Guys, if you have like more uh, difficulties with any exercise, let me know and we can sort it out. So, Adrian, I think this is the exercise you mentioned too, right? Yes, teacher, I finished. Mm -hmm. uh, only problem is a uh, grammar. Mm -hmm. Yes, <clears throat> remember that it is passive voice. So, for example, it says Luke, George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. But one mm -hmm. easy way to identify passive voice is you ask the question, George Lucas directed what? And you come, oh, the Star Wars movies. So this is going to be your beginning. The Star Wars movie was or where and the past participle. Mm. The same happens here, for example, number three, I am Fleming What's wrote the, the, mm -hmm, the James Bond uh, novels. But my question is, I am Fleming directed I mean, I'm sorry, I am Fleming direct uh, wrote what? So the what is going to be the subject. So you start with this as your subject. That is passive voice, right? It's like a like a switch. Pretty much we switch ideas. Um Azucena, did you find the exercise? Did it load? No, teacher. Uh, but do, big... do you remember the number? Yeah, it's this one. It's this one, but I'm on part B, I, I think. <laughs> part, part two. This one, the second exercise? Yes, yes, okay. Tim Berners. Uh, I, I already uh, write um, the word why, where mm -hmm. um, was developed mm -hmm. by Tim Berners Lee. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So, World Wide Web was developed uh, we need to include the by right so i'm just mm -hmm. going to come and copy and paste it because normally um there mm -hmm. are some symbols i need mm -hmm. a period and let's give it a, a try let's see what happens here so okay so but i missed something Sometimes this is just a trial and error. Oh, there you go. So uh, sometimes a word, like for example, here at the beginning, I forgot to include the, so the word white web, because remember that is passive. So we need to switch it up. The word white web was developed, right? By, if this is giving you some issues, what I did was copy and paste. I copied and pasted, and don't forget the period at the end, and it worked. So, okay. mm -hmm. so any other guys that is giving you some difficulties? No, teacher. Not that you remember. Okay, if there is another, let me know and, and we can sort it out tomorrow. No problem. Okay, guys, thank thanks you, a lot sir. for your, no, thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for your attendance. This was a lot of fun and I hope you have a very good night. So see you good tomorrow, night, guys. Have a good, good one. Night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye